Grayson, what are we doing today? We're playing the last day of soccer. Well, it's not the last day of soccer. It's your second to last time at soccer, huh? Are you going to be a soccer rocker? Yeah? Hi, Porter. Yeah? Are you a soccer rocker? Yeah. Yeah, he must be just like his brother. Good morning, you guys. We have soccer this morning. It is Saturday. We didn't have soccer last weekend. It had rained for like three or four straight days and the fields were just too wet and if people played on them they would have been ruined so they were canceled last week so we have soccer this week we have it this we have it today and then we have it um one more time next week a week from today and then we're done we're done with soccer till next season so we are gonna go do that after soccer we're gonna rush back here anthony's parents are coming to our house and they're gonna come get the boys and take them to toledo they're gonna play with them in toledo for a week and then we are gonna go to indianapolis indiana to a wedding um anthony one of anthony's friends he kind of has like a guy night like every wednesday and this guy used to be part of his guys night and then he moved away to Indianapolis and now he's getting married and send us an invitation. So we are gonna go um, and we got a hotel in downtown Indianapolis so it's gonna be super fun. And we're gonna go to this wedding. Um, so it's gonna be a tight crunch because we are gonna leave here probably about noon. The wedding is at four and it takes a little under three hours to get to Indianapolis. So we need to go check into our hotel, change into our wedding attire, and then go to the wedding. Thankfully our hotel is like a seven minute walk to the wedding. So we should just be able to walk to it. One only problem that I see so far is, well, and I haven't looked at the app this morning, but as of last night, they were saying wind gusts and possible hail today in Indianapolis, not here in Columbus. We are supposed to get thunderstorms, but not until like nine tonight. But in Indianapolis, it's supposed to start at like noon. So we might get a little wet <laughs> on our way to this wedding. Um, I have to see if we have an umbrella or maybe we stop at the store really quick and get one. Sorry, Grayson's playing the piano and Porter's reading his truck book, so it's a little loud here. What, what, what is it new? So that is our plan. I plan on uh, vlogging as much as I can throughout our day and this wedding. It's always fun to go to weddings um, with Anthony because we get to dance together and um, Anthony gets to see some of his friends, so he's excited about that. And to be kid free, um, is pretty nice too because it's just out of the norm we don't usually get to do that so it's gonna be good it's a beautiful day right now this soccer season is like six or seven games maybe it was maybe it's six I don't know but like out of all the times we've done it so far which is what like this might be the fifth or sixth I don't know um, there's only been one other time that it's been sunny like this. Every other time it's been raining or snowing. So this season, which I get it, it's spring, it's just not been the best. So <laughs> we are going to um, enjoy the nice weather that we have today and hope that it continues for next weekend for his last game. Last season, um, on his last game slash practice, I don't know what you want to call it, it's not really games, they just practice because they're just learning the sport. But the last time that they were supposed to meet, it actually got canceled because it rained too much. And so it was kind of like the season kind of ended like without finality because there was no like end. So um, hopefully this year or this season it'll be better and like we'll be able to um, finish. And I think they give the kids a little like trophy or medal or something for participation, I don't know. So anyway, we are gonna go. Grayson is excited. Are you excited, Gray? Oh, I bumped my pinky. Oh no, you bumped your pinky. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> you have good glasses here. Hmm? You have some sunglasses here? I uh, no. On daddy or Porter? Porter? Okay. Go, Gray! Oh, no. Oh, no, no, you want them on dada? Yeah. Blast it in that Blast it in, Gray! Woo! Good job, Gray! Right. Let's go! 
Let's get this group around one more time through the map, okay? You guys ready? My group of explorers. You guys have a hey guys, so we are back from Indianapolis. So I just wanted to tell you guys about our trip. We had a really fun time. Um, we were actually late to the wedding. So Saturday you saw we took grade two soccer. He did actually really well. Um, he was kind of tired though because he was like crying on and off. Um, he gets frustrated when they do the scrimmage because he'll be like dribbling the ball down the field and then a kid on the other team will come and like take the ball which they're supposed to and take it the other way and he gets frustrated with that so he was getting a little frustrated but he did really really well um, and then we raced back home and then Anthony's parents came like less than 20 minutes later and so we visited with them for a little bit and then they took the boys um to toledo the boys were so excited to go porter like ran to anthony's parents he was so pumped he's definitely gotten over like his attachment to me in stranger danger so it's so much nicer so they were pumped to go and they left and then we scrambled to get everything ready to go and pack the car but we were worried about this like hail storm gusty winds thunderstorms that we were going to encounter in Indianapolis so we wanted to get an umbrella. We had an umbrella but it had just gotten damaged like the day prior so we raced to Meyer to try to find an umbrella and guys I kid you not it took us like over a half hour trying to find an umbrella. We went and looked in like the summer section, we went and looked in like the sports section, could not find an umbrella. Finally I went and found somebody who worked at Meyer and asked them and they were like oh it's in the fashion section. I would never think to look in the fashion section. So it was like next to like the belts and like the purses. Like what? So we finally found the umbrellas, got them, got in the car and raced to Indianapolis. We actually made pretty good timing and I was worried that it was going to rain like the whole time, but it only rained up until the like very end. Um, and we really didn't hit bad traffic at all. So we got to our hotel, checked in pretty quickly, got to the room. We were rushing to get um, everything on and get dressed. And for some reason, when I had first put in like the route from our hotel to the venue, it had said like seven minutes. And I was like, oh perfect, it's a seven minute walk. Well, what I didn't realize what it's not is that it's not a seven minute walk, it's a seven minute drive. And so we were like, oh shoot, we thought we had more time. And we didn't know, cause we were in downtown, we didn't know if there was gonna be parking or not at this place. And so we were like, well, we were gonna walk, but then we'd be, 30 minutes like so it was a 30 minute walk so we were like Kayla we don't want to do that we don't want to take our own car so we ended up calling an uber which we then had to wait like 13 minutes for the uber to get to us and then it was another like seven minutes to get to the place so we actually ended up getting to the venue like 15 minutes late which I was like oh no big deal whatever but I forget that basically like if you don't have your wedding in a church your wedding is usually like 15 minutes max and so we got to the place like 15 minutes late and there were a couple people standing outside and they were like don't go in the doors because they're having the ceremony right now and you basically like the doors open right up to where the ceremony is so we basically just like watch from the windows and like we watched for like a second and then like they kissed and it was over. So it happened super fast and we missed the ceremony, but we were right on time for the reception. Um, and so we were able to like quickly find a seat at the table and then the rest of the night was really fun. They had an open bar for like the first two hours. Um, so we, and they had some really cool like mixed drinks. It was at like a brewery. And so it was really cool, cute little intimate space. It was like only for like a hundred people. People. So it was a very small wedding um, and it was really nice. I took a little video of like everybody like walking around and interacting so I'll just input that. This wedding did not have a DJ. Um, I guess they wanted to save money and so they just like made a playlist on their iPad and then just like plugged that into the speakers at the place and just played music off of that. So it was interesting because I'd never been to a wedding that didn't have a DJ before and you really don't realize like how much the DJ actually like contributes to your wedding. Like I'm sure they probably didn't really um, mind it but it, there was definitely a lot less dancing at this wedding because there was no DJ like 
trying to encourage people to get on the floor and there was also no G DJ to like take requests from people. It was all just like a set playlist. So that was interesting, but it was still fun. Anthony had a great time. Um, talking to his friends and hanging out with them. And we got to dance a couple slow dances, so that was really fun too. So we did that and then we were able to walk home. So at least we only paid one way for the Uber because Uber prices are ridiculous because of gas prices. So we were able to walk home, we got home late, home to the hotel. We got there late, fell asleep, and then it was nice we were able to like sleep in the next day. And so we got up late. Um, and we had a late checkout. We got like our checkout was like noon. So it was really nice. We could take our time. And then we went to go find breakfast, which was kind of hard because one of the places we went to was closed, probably because of the pandemic. Then the second place we went to had like over an hour wait because hello, it was Sunday morning in downtown. Everybody's looking for food. So we noticed there was a place across the way. It was like called the Oakmont or something. Never heard of it. Decided to go check it out. They only had a 30 minute wait and they said it probably wouldn't even be a 30 minute wait so we we're like okay let's try this place it was like super like hipster young crowd like they had a dj in the restaurant like remixing songs and it was a really cool vibe but it was good food and they got like an omelet and i got this really yummy french toast so um we got to eat and we, like they had a cute little patio so we ate outside it was perfect and then the rest of the day we, we just went and explored um downtown indianapolis i was trying to keep it kind of cheap just because we were already spending a bunch of money with the wedding and um eating out and gas and blah blah, blah. so we just like kind of walked around they have this big monument um like in the middle of like a big roundabout um, and so we went and saw that it was like to honor all the fallen soldiers or something from Indiana So I took a video of that We're in Indianapolis Exploring the town Say hi. Feeling great. Anthony's feeling great. We had a wedding we're gonna go see more. And then we went and walked around downtown and then like at the edge of downtown, they have like, I think it's called White State Park or White River State Park. And I think that's what it was called. And so um, it was this really pretty park, but the coolest thing about it was it had this really pretty canal that I guess the city of Indianapolis or Indiana had built like back in the 1800s and then they like went bankrupt so they didn't finish the canal so it only it's not that long of a canal but you can like walk along it and then they also have like swan boats or canoes that you can rent or they even do gondola rides with like the people singing like you would in Italy so we walked the whole canal it took us maybe an hour maybe a little over an hour to walk all the way down and back Look how cute this little canal is. It just keeps going and it's got little, I don't know, what are those things called? Bridges? <laughs> Please edit that out of the phone. video. Please. What are these things? Bridges? <laughs> well, are, aren't, they call, are, aren't they called something? I don't know. It was so pretty. It was a hot day and it was a sunny day. Anthony ended up getting sunburnt, poor guy. Um, but we had a lot of fun just like walking around and exploring the town. Indianapolis is very similar to Columbus and Cincinnati, I would say, which makes sense. It's like a big city in, a, in the Midwest. So of course it would be similar, but it was really pretty. It was nice and clean and I felt safe there and lots of people walking around, lots of people walking their dogs, babies. So it was really cool atmosphere. We really enjoyed walking around. We stayed in the city till about 
four, I want to say, and then headed back to Columbus and back to home where we are now. So it was a fun little trip that we took. Um, it was really fun. We were like, dude, I don't know if we'd necessarily go back to Indianapolis unless we like had to, but it was cool to visit and just kind of see like what it's all about. Yeah, that's kind of it. The boys are in Toledo still. They are in Toledo until Friday. So I kind of have the week off. It's been very, very quiet here. Um, I've been able to edit a ton. That's what I've been doing mostly today. I've been taking walks and Anthony and I are still working on our house. Um, in the next vlog, I will show you guys. We are um, <clears throat> finished painting for the most part, and now we are moving on to fixing up the master bathroom. I say we, but it's really Anthony doing all the work, and I'm just like cheering him on and helping wherever he needs. So he <clears throat> tore out all the floor, which you'll see in the next vlog coming up, uh, all the way down to the subfloor, and uh, we got the new tile that we're gonna put in, but it's just a lot of work, big project. So be sure to stay tuned um, to see how that project goes, and we're still looking for houses. It's Tuesday, so hopefully more houses come on the market. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to recap this vlog for you. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.